How did the two of you end up playing together? <sighs> well... <laughs> uh, well, so it was actually at BMA's week in 2012. I was doing uh, uh, the Nick Moss band, which Mike was a member of, was doing the Blues Jam Down at the Rum Boogie. And um, I missed their set. The last time I had seen Nick, Mike wasn't in the band, so I didn't know who Mike was. And I ended up doing a set with Curtis Salgado. And Curtis called uh, one of my favorite songs, which is an OV Wright tune called You're Gonna Make Me Cry and called this guy up that I'd never seen before. This, you know, good-looking, charismatic this dude. Never ar- seen him. Ugly, didn't know who he was. Ugly guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, you're thinking of the other guy. But, uh, <laughs> the, uh, but, uh, and he started singing, and all I could think was, who is that guy? And it actually took me a while before I pieced together, oh, that guy is now playing and singing with Nick Moss. Um, and then we just kept in touch, you know, every so often we, you know, text each other or, you know, just check in with each other how things were going and on social media. And then we were both offered a chance to play the Otis Rush tribute at the Chicago Blues Festival um, last year. And we ended up playing together. And that was just such a natural, magical experience that from that, it was just like we have to record or play or do something. There was there was no way after what we did on that stage that we weren't going to continue, you know, what we had right there. Yeah, that was that was it. 